All right, everybody, Baron here, and yes, welcome back to Totally Aggro Battle Simulator, my favorite words nowadays. So we're continuing on the challenge formations. We're at scythes and potions. You know what? I want to try a ballista. These things are nuts. And also, we know that Sarissons won the Tabs Tournament. If you haven't seen the Tabs Tournament video, my gosh, I think that might be one of the best videos I've ever made in Tabs so far. You know what, since we've got a hundred bucks, we might as well go to the second best unit, the Squire. Actually, we're gonna put him in the front to distract the enemy force. So basically, this formation is gonna be quite simple. We're gonna rely completely on the Ballista in the background to lay down the Pain Train. Oh gosh, they have Potion Sellers. I forgot, did I just, did I just pit? Did you I spent a thousand dollars on you. You shot a bolt into the bridge, you son of biscuit. All right, how many? Oh, <laughs> look at Mr. Harvester or Mrs. Harvester. I'm sorry, Mrs. I didn't mean to presume your gender, but oh gosh, now we got potion sellers. So this may not work as long as we get another bolt, though. We need to understand just how strong is this Roman engineering. Okay. It fires so fast. I'm just, you know what? I'm pretty curious as to like, how good is this thing? Please hit the guy in the middle. If you hit the guy in the middle, we win. If you hit the guy on the side, we probably don't. You're an idiot. If only the ballista could like listen to my commands. In fact, actually the potions don't seem to really be working. The ballista guy seems a little bit dizzy. He might not feel so good as if he just ate. There it is. The ballista is glorious. And you know what? You're, you're having a bad day as the cable's going through your eyeball, but that just shows your dedication to our military cause here. So this formation is called the Arrow, and as seen from above, you can see why. But all I could see is the ground level. That is one, two, three, four, five units in a row. Well, six, if you include Mr. Shield guy. Look at this little hole. If we somehow fire a ballista bolt straight at this guy, we could, in theory, hit six units in a row? Check this formation out. So I'm hoping that we aligned our ballista up. Basically, I went with this. One bard to distract them and lure them in with his beautiful banjo. Okay, we've got little-headed Lewis here. Regular-headed Ronald. And these two guys over here. And then we got two ballistas. So let's see, are we lined up? Oh, you know what? I think we need to slightly adjust it. All right. I'm hoping that our first ballista bolt will ra like, will fly true and take out that line. Oh, I just realized that we're kind of moving them based off of- Are you kidding me? One of the arrows went straight in and got one of the shield guys. Alright, you may fire when ready. Oh! Okay, hold on. I'm seeing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight? Did that kill eight units, or were some of them already dead? So we've got some chieftains here, and chieftains are renowned melee specialists. They can also take a few ranged units and a few stabby stabs, but they don't do too well against spears because spears are actually really good in high damage. Now the problem is, if you get shot- oh, Okay guys, hold on. I think we need to stop these challenges because I've got a greater question. Not are we the best at tabs, because clearly yes. Well. Well, there we go, see? But, how strong is a ballista? How many units in a row can a ballista kill? Let's find out. Alright, hold on. This one's called more wheelbarrows, and look at this. We have... These guys, in a row. I can afford two ballistas. I'm hoping this can work. Alright, so what I'm going to do is... This is... We're risking it for the biscuit. We're putting up some units a little bit close. I want to put up... Let's- let's do two bards right in front of it, and hopefully... You know what? Let- let's not use the bards. I just want to see this. Okay, uh... Alright, they've just cocked. And they're about to go. Come on! Oh, they're- they're targeting- What?! Are you seeing this?! We just saw a ballista bolt get like six or seven units in a row, and then a hay baler stopped a ballista bolt? No problem- he wasn't even knocked back?! It's like the hail just absorbs all the kinetic shock. All of the physics. Hold the phone. We need to test this out. All right, so we're on the map. Simulation. And on it, here we go. Let's go ahead and get our trusty ballista. We'll get one of them and it's on this line. Now just to make it easier, I'm gonna put one unit right in front of it and make sure we're aligned properly. And then we're gonna line up behind. Now, 
We're not going to do him this close because obviously, like, that would just be, like, the guy would get a club shot in before the ballista was able to hit. All right, so first, let's try all clubbers. Let's do... All right, so this is ten clubbers in a line. All right, he's about to fire, so we're doing this in slow motion so we can see it. Like, brilliantly. There, there's a few different size variations, and I'm wondering if it affects the length of their leg. Alright, you may fire the ballista bolt. Oh, okay, the ballista bolt just missed this last group of three, but that hit seven out of ten, and I think it would have hit ten out of ten. Alright, so we have twenty now. I mean, how, how many can this hit? Alright, now we know not to slow it down until, like, right when he's about to fire. Oh! oh. Oh, okay. It missed. It, it misses some of them, but if it does hit them, hold on. We're gonna need to see that again. Look at that going! Oh man! Look at the guy flying back. His little his little club is turned into a little bit of like a helicopter propeller right there. And let's see, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven men left. That took out thirteen. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how many there are on the map right now. There's a lot. I'm guessing this is probably 60. Yeah, I think this is about 60. So let's see what it looks like because there's also the kinetic force. I want to see what it looks like from this angle now. And let maybe a little bit above. So we're going to see it firing. Oh, he fired to the left. Are you serious? Redeem yourself. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we need a unit counter. I think on the simulation map it'd be really cool if you could have like a unit counter. Did this guy just trip or what? Or is he dancing? I can't quite tell. But look at the number of people! He had to have hit 20? Close to 20 right there? Alright, I think we can fix this because he's definitely dead. So, I think the play here is have them line up like that and then put the extra ones in the back. Alright. Here we go. Hold on, let's let's hit slow motion again, get in a position. And I kind of want to see it from the front now, but like a little bit above. Oh my gosh. Yes, look at this carnage. Look at how many have fallen over. Now that wasn't as many as last time, but remember it was the second shot that did most of the damage, not the first one. So the first shot did better. Let's see how the second shot is. He's going to fire close, so I wonder if is he going to aim higher? Oh my god! He only hit the side of that group. <laughs> Look at that guy. That guy got launched. Oh, I wonder what the record is for like the amount of distance flown. Okay. Now we've done the clubbers. Alright, so I think it's only fair to try it out. Like we've seen a hay baler stop a ballista bolt, and we need to check that again. So here is the number of shields we have. And then we're gonna have a giant ballista bolt attempt to go through all of them. I feel like we're opening up like a magic show in Vegas, but we're using totally accurate battle simulator right now. Like, can you believe it? The ballista- oh, and they're following in a really nice line. Okay. That didn't do nearly as much. What happened to the ballista bolt? I don't even see it. It's not- is it stuck in this guy? I don't think so. So we got what? One, two, three of them? We are gonna have time and they kind of are lined up, but you can see how even just a slight angle you can miss. So we've got to hit the center mass, which the first target is not center mass, so I'm not expecting this one to do more than- I'm gonna guess three. Oh, I could not be further from the truth. We were wrong. So let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we got ten, so on that second round they got seven, they're still bunched up, he might even have another shot. All right, let's see. Come on. Come on, knock it and fire. He hit the first three over. Their shields fell, and I think maybe one of these... No, he's just holding his shield wonky. So, not as good at hitting these Roman shieldmen. Okay, now what if we do the, we apply the same principle as we did the last time? I feel like this is Mythbusters. If you guys got any challenges or Mythbuster type, you know, situations or just like questions or theories that you would like to see put in tabs, leave them in the comments below. If you see one that you like, make sure to hit the like button on that comment, obviously, as well as the video because tabs is awesome and you want more, don't you? All right, knock it and fire, big boy. Knock it and fire. It goes through the shields and then it just like disappears. 
That's pretty much just bowling right there. One, two, th I mean, that had to have gotten at least 10, 11. See, because that's the cool thing about the ballista bolt, is you can hit the center target, and it has this kinetic force that will, like, literally physically knock over units that are next to it. All right, let's see a ballista against a minotaur here. All right. He gets him right in the nose. That has to hurt. He just keeps trucking. Okay, so how many ballista bolts does it take to kill the mammoth? The mammoth is the biggest, baddest, and strongest unit in the game. He's taken two ballista bolts straight on the snout, and he's not too angry. Now, when the mounting system comes to tabs, I want to mount one of these on top of of a mammoth, and I think it would be one of the craziest units ever. It would literally be a tank. Three ballistas versus one woolly boy. Who wins? Gentlemen, you may fa when ready. Oh, I think the magic number is three. I think that's clear. Three ballista bolts it takes to kill a mammoth. Three ballistas. Now let's play a little game called Testudo Formation and the chief. We're trying to hit the chief who's in the back of the formation. So we're gonna start this, and we're gonna see if any of these ballista bolts- Now there is a little bit of frame rate drop because we have all these units, but look at this. Alright. Are you guys knocked yet? I think they're knocked and they're ready to fire, so we're gonna wanna watch this from the front. Now the objective here is to see after each salvo if the chief goes down. <laughs> that is the aftermath. They get so far into the back and the chief's kind of moving up right now. So look at that! Look at that! You can see the giant spaces where all the shieldmen fell and where some of them fell out of formation. Now the ballista bolts do stick in the ground here. Come on boys, you've got to get the chief. He's still up and he's in the middle here. Come on, here he is. You just gotta- Oh! Oh, they kind of got close. Okay, so that I think that Testudo was just too large and in charge. Or maybe... I think you guys are right. You guys are right. The Delta Formation of Ballistas. Yes, we only needed more Ballistas! If there's a Chieftain, and we're gonna get a C in slow motion. Alright, that's three bolts going out. Look at them just cleaving through these lines. Oh my god, they got really close to the Chieftain that time. Now we should be seeing... There we go. Four more. <laughs> this is glorious. That back one did so well. Look at the bodies just spilling and cartwheeling over each other in the back. Okay. Come on. Just another salvo. Alright, that one looks like- Okay, it, it hit the dirt well before it got to the chief. I don't think they're gonna be able to hit the chief. Whoa! That one actually missed. And it flew high. I wish- I wish you could like- I wish you could tell them to shoot higher than lower, right? Because they have a greater chance of going down a giant line. Look at that, that one was like a little off center. Who fired it? Oh! They almost got the chief! Look at this guy getting propelled by the spear. Oh, it's gorgeous. Come on, come on, come on. All you have to do is hit the chief. You don't have to survive. You don't have to hit all of them. Just the chief. Just the chief. The chief just ran down the center aisle. He was smart and now he's throwing bones everywhere. He is the bone mage. We were calling the chief because, like, look at his crown. Of course, he's- he's the leader of this party. It's time to run this against one of my favorite units in the game, which is the Hoplite. We're gonna do 10, and we're gonna see how the Hoplites do. They should be a little bit stronger, and their shields might be a little bit better. <laughs> or maybe they just line up better. Hold on. That was 8 out of 10. 80% right there on the first bolt. And I'm not even sure if I, like, align them properly. They're definitely gonna be able to take them out. <laughs> Alright, so now that we've done the hoplites, I think we need to test one of the buffed units in the most recent patch update. Alright, the knights. Newly buffed, pretty awesome, taking- they- they placed highly in the tabs tournament. If you haven't seen it, you gotta watch that one. It is the best tabs- oh my gosh, it's the best tabs video. Did you see the- I wish their shields could, like, explode. Look at this poor guy. He's not having a good day, man. His back was broken. So out of the ten, it crushed five of them. But I- was this the first guy or the second guy in the group? Alright, so he's gonna be able to knock another one. Now, it looks like he's firing at the big group of four in the back, so let's see this. We want to see it in slow motion. How many can the ballista- no, he takes out the first one. <gasps> He survived a ballista bolt. And now he lunges forward, tripping over his vigor for battle, and he takes it out. Hold on, let's do another test. Okay, 
Gentlemen, prepare for glory. Glorious dis- Okay, that one was only three. So the first time was what, eight? No, that was on the hoplites. I guess we got five. Oh my god, this guy's limping. Did he break a leg off? No, his shield went through. His, or his leg went through his shield. Yeah, so I think the knights are actually pretty good. And now, the other test. We've tried many, many a unit, but it's the hay balers. We've seen one of these take a ballista bolt straight to the face. Are you kidding me? Hold on. They really can block ballista bolts. I don't even think they're hurt. You would have to get hit in the arm. He took it straight to the chest and he's still walking. All right, hold on. We gotta try this. All right, we sent a bard out and we have a ton of ballistas. I wanna hit them from all angles. Oh no. Oh wait. Okay, they're not invincible. This one hit one in the arm. You have to get on the flank here because if you hit anywhere in the hay, it looks like. Like, look at these guys. They are invincible. I mean, well, I guess we disproved that. They're not invincible. They're like 80%, maybe even 90? 92% invincible? Come on, Bard, you're doing a good job. You're leading him in a straight line. Oh, <laughs> all right, this guy got hit with three, but I think one pierced the top and hit him in the chest, maybe. I'm not sure. It's kind of difficult to tell when they get knocked over, and then there's the despawning of the ballista bolts and the bodies as well. So the evidence, you know, the after battle. Oh. Where did... Was that just sheer velocity then? So they're not invincible to them. It seems like they're at first if they get hit a, hit head on. Let's do it one more time. We're just gonna do it in real time this time. I might slow it down because slow motion is pretty awesome. Okay, that cleared out a vast majority of the group. I think if they get hit with multiple bolts, their armor just can't hang. Maybe there's like an armor threshold or a damage threshold. And if it meets it, like this guy, he got hit with I think three or four. One of them looked like they got hit with four. All right, I want to see where this guy gets hit. He got hit in the back. He- what? Yeah, he got hit in the midsection and then one of them hit him in his arm and then he went down. That guy took five to six different ballista bolts in the body before going down. But anyway, thanks for watching another episode of Tabs and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye bye